Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about USB testers. So what is a USB tester? Well, USB tester is a device basically, uh, you can see I have uh, different types of testers. This is uh, a USB A tester, not, all, not exactly. Uh, it has a type C input and a micro USB input as well. So basically uh, it tests uh, the power uh, like voltage and current also it measures the capacity so it comes in different shapes and sizes this one also has a bluetooth functionality and this one has uh, this is this one is only type c usb tester it takes uh, type c as an input and outputs type c so the magic happens uh, here and you can see the power uh, like voltage current and temperature i'm going to demonstrate uh, the testers in a minute so first i'm going to show you the different testers i have so this is a fairly basic one this is very old uh, i had this for quite a while it still works it takes a usb a as an input also it takes micro usb as an input this one uh, is also a USB tester that uh, takes a USB A as an input and outputs USB A. Also, I use this one. This is a fairly basic one, all as well. Takes USB A as an input and outputs USB A. And this one also measures voltage, current, uh, temperature, time and capacity so these ones that i showed measure uh, voltage current temperature time capacity for example uh, basically you use usb tester to measure the voltage and current uh, to determine the capacity of your device also the current it's drawing and its behavior while charging out of these this one also comes with bluetooth functionality unfortunately the screen is broken but you could uh, connect it uh, to your computer or a smartphone via a bluetooth connection just as i do now i'm gonna demonstrate all of these testers like show you how uh, they are so let's start with uh, this one the type c one I'm gonna plug this uh, tester to my uh, power bank. It wouldn't work until I connect the output to some uh, type C device. So I'm using this, don't mind the construction. Uh, I just made it for demonstration, uh, like I use it for some, my own uh, projects. So it works for me, it's just for my own self. So I'm gonna plug this in and like I'm gonna show you here and here you go it's working you could see uh, this power bank it's now charging one is drawing 5 volts and 1.5 amps 5 volts uh, voltage and 1.5 amperes this is the current and you could see this is the capacity in milliamp hours also the capacity in watt hours watt hours is actually a little more accurate and here if you can see there is the temperature i'm going to show you and this is the resistance and this is the watts on this one you could store up to i think two uh, readings you can see it also shows the voltage on data lines as well so now we are going to be talking about uh, this meter, uh, the second one. I use this uh, more frequently, uh, like in my daily use a lot. So I'm going to demonstrate it using this power bank as a source. And this power bank would be charging. I just modified it for my own purposes. Basically, I just messed up with everything I own and modified it according to my own self. Uh, so this is the modification, looks a bit ugly, but it does support 18 watt fast charging. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. So powering on the USB tester. And this should be good enough for demonstration. Here you go this is the plug the usb plug i'm just gonna plug it in and here you go now you can see it's 
9 volt and 1.45 amps basically this uh, tester can store up to nine values so I'm gonna go through them uh, uh, some parameters as well so here it's the voltage the current uh, the capacity in milliamp hours and watt hours the time it takes uh, to charge the battery or smartphone or whatever is drawing uh, power and this is the power in watts this is the resistance and this is the number one basically it stores up to nine values and this is the temperature so here I can show you the nine values two three four five six seven eight nine and ten basically nine values so I'm just demonstrating and letting you know how to use the tester you might be wondering why is it it is at nine volts so basically this is at quick charge mode so that's why it jumped to nine volts sometimes it jumps to 12 volts but in this case it jumped to nine volts normal charging takes at five volts this can also do five volts so remember everything that is advanced like uh, if it is quick charge 3.0 it will also support quick charge 2.0 protocol and quick charge 1 protocol so it is backwards compatible and as well as all the legacy devices it will charge it without any problem next up is uh, this usb tester i removed it from the enclosure it's pretty good looking uh, i really like this one uh, so let's demonstrate this as well the other end of the cable is plugged in into the same power bank so it will be the same so plugging it in here you go plugging it in notice that it is at 5 volts now because it's in non uh, quick charge mode now I'm gonna plug in the quick charge power bank notice the jump in the voltage and here you go it's at 9 volts and it's drawing around 900 milliamps or 1.2 amps now and the same parameters the watt hours and milliamp hours uh, the wattage and other parameters are the same resistance as well you can also see it's the uh, temperature as well and it can store values in its memory i think yeah. no it cannot uh, but it does show you the voltage on the data lines here you go you can see the plus minus voltage on the data lines of the data cable so this is all for this meter let's get into the other one the ancient one plugging it in and I'm gonna plug in the power bank you can see I hope it's doing it pretty okay and there you go it's 9 volts and 1.17 amps 1.12 1.17 amps so notice that this is pretty basic one it just shows the 9 volts and like voltage and current and capacity in milliamp hours only and it can also store up to nine values like you can see three and here it is nine and zero maybe ten values so this is all for this meter uh, not too much to add in this one so coming to this meter the best one unfortunately the LED is uh, not working uh, it's broken so I'm just gonna plug it in here you can see this is the Bluetooth indicator like uh, it's flashing because it's not connected to any Bluetooth device and you can see uh, I can connect and it starts charging my uh, power bank but it doesn't show anything but I can see the values on my computer so it's still handy for me because it shows a lot of information 
and on computer it is nice to see so these features are pretty handy on this meter uh, it's USB type C in micro USB in uh, USB type C out and USB A out of course it's USB A in so this meter is still pretty handy although the display is broken so that's it for today if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell and i guess i'll see you in the next one peace